name is Melissa Bissell. I am a fine art photographer and a lens baby ambassador and educator. I work in the genres of nature photography and even more specifically, I really love macro photography, especially working with flowers. I also really enjoy doing street photography, travel photography, self-portraits, and whenever I can, I like to document my family as well. And today I am super excited to share an unboxing with you. The other day I received this package in the mail from Lens Baby, and any day that I receive mail from Lens Baby is a happy day. I'm very excited to see what we have this time. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, first thing I notice is that Lens Baby has packaged this new piece of gear very nicely in environmentally friendly packaging, which I do always appreciate. I'm ready to show you what is in this box. And, oh, this is very exciting. Let me show you what I am seeing. This is Lens Baby's newest optic that is part of their optic swap system. It is the Lens Baby Double Glass 2. And the Lens Baby has sent me the combination Lens Baby Double Glass 2 and the Composer Pro 2, which is the housing that all the optic swap optics insert into. And then the whole unit, the optic and the Composer Pro 2 are attached to your camera. Additionally, in this box is this interesting little case and it is the Lens Baby Aperture Discs. So before I go ahead and open up this box with the double glass two and our little Aperture Disc case, I do want to let you know about a few things that Lens Baby told me about this optic um, prior to my receiving it. The double glass two is an optic where the creative effect is a sweet spot where you have a sweet spot of focus and then a beautiful dreamy blur that emanates out from around the area of focus. Um, Lens Baby has said that they think that this creative effect with that sweet spot and that beautiful dreamy bokeh pair beautifully with these aperture discs. Okay, let's go ahead and open this baby up. And here we have it. This is the Composer Pro 2 made by Lens Baby and the Double Glass 2 Optic also made by Lens Baby, already inserted into the Composer Pro 2. This entire unit will then attach to your camera. This is the part that attaches to the camera, and this is your lens area. Okay, so in addition to having the option to purchase this as a set, the Composer Pro 2, and the double glass too as a unit, you will also have the option to buy the optic separately, which you would want to do if you already own a Composer Pro 2. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this optic out so you can see what it looks like when it's not in the Composer Pro 2. So there it is. It's very nice and small fits right in my hand. It's very lightweight. It has nice build quality. And if you were to buy this 
on its own as a separate unit, just the optic, it would arrive in with uh, the lens cap and with a bottom cap as well. And I will show you, I have one of these from another optic, but the bottom cap often looks like this. The optic just screws in like that. And then your optic is always protected when it's not in your Composer Pro 2. The double glass two optic has an aperture range starting at f 2.5 and going all the way up to f 22. It is a 50 millimeter optic. Okay, so I'm really excited to attach this to my camera and try it out. Uh, before I do that, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Lens Baby Optic Swap system, I just want to give you a brief explanation of what it is. Um, you can go to the Lens Baby website and they do have a lot of videos, blogs, explanations on what the optic swap system is, what optics are available to purchase and how to use it. But just very briefly here, um, the, com the optic swap system consists of the Composer Pro two in various optics and as you've seen I've been able to um, pop it in really easily and pop it back out again. What is really fun and unique about this system is that Lens Baby has created a variety of optics and each optic offers a different effect um, and some of them have also the option for different focal lengths. So there are so many creative possibilities with this optic swap system. And I'm very excited to see what this new optic, the Double Glass 2, has to offer me. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly attach it to my camera. And it pops in just like any standard lens. I line it up with the little red dot on the composer to the little red dot on my camera. And there we go. So I love it. It is a nice compact system that packs a creative punch. Okay, so before I go out and make some photos with this new Double Glass 2, I need to show you what is in this Aperture Disc case. So I'm very excited about these. Lens Baby has told me that there are nine creative Aperture Discs in here. Um, so let's go ahead and open them up and see what shapes they are. Okay, so here they are. Let me go through them quickly. Uh, we have a starburst, a swirl, uh, this one looks like a like an ink splot or ink splat, I guess. This looks like a diamond shape. Ooh, and this one. Ooh, I'm very intrigued by this. This disc has three flying birds on it. I think that is going to be super fun to play around with. A star a heart. Uh, this one looks like a rose. I believe we are calling this a whirlpool. And this has these slots which are can be placed in your optic either vertically or horizontally or even at an angle. The aperture discs just pop right into the optic. They stay connected in there by a magnetic structure. And you may have noticed when I was showing you the aperture disc holder that it has this um, handle on the bottom. 
So the handle also has a little cover attached to it. And if you remove this cover, it has a little magnet. And that is your tool for removing your aperture disc. And it just, you put it in there. You can see it just connects, comes right out. So that's a nice little feature of this aperture disc holder. Okay, I am headed out now with my new double glass to optic, as well as this fun new collection of aperture discs, all made by Lens Baby. I am hoping to create some images that are unique, beautiful, and whimsical. And I do plan to attach some of those images at the end of this video. So I hope that you will stay tuned. And I thank you very much for watching.